This is BBC World News. I'm Karen Ginoni. Our top stories. The British Prime Minister heads back to Glasgow to push for progress at the Climate Change Summit as the first draft of a final deal is published urging countries to strengthen commitments. Poland says migrants have made attempts to break through the border from Belarus overnight as the crisis between the countries escalates. A judge in the U.S. rejects an attempt by Donald Trump to block access to White House records about January's attack on the Capitol. A pandemic of the unvaccinated. The German government explains why hospitals are close to being overwhelmed by record levels of COVID. And did Prince Harry predict that January the 6th uprising in Washington? New claims the Duke of Sussex warned the head of Twitter 24 hours before it happened. For all of you watching on PBS and around the globe, a warm welcome to BBC World News. The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is returning to the COP26 climate change conference in Glasgow to push for progress as it enters its final days. Now, the United Nations has just published the first draft of a potential agreement. Uh, we've been looking at it. It expresses alarm and concern that human activities have caused around 1.1 degrees Celsius of warming to date. Now, it urges countries to revisit and strengthen commitments to cut carbon emissions within the next year. Nations are also being asked to phase out coal and fossil fuel subsidies. Well, uh, we'll be in Glasgow live shortly to get a little bit more on what is coming out of that uh, draft agreement uh, in a few minutes' time. Now, Poland's defence minister says migrants have made many attempts overnight to break through the border from Belarus as the crisis on the frontier continues. He said there were 15,000 Polish soldiers on the border and he believed all the migrants had been caught and sent back. A state of emergency has come into force along the border with Lithuania as the country grapples with a surge in immigration from neighbouring Belarus. The EU has said it will impose additional sanctions on Belarus because of what it describes as President Lukashenko's gangster-style approach towards the migrants. Aruna Ayenga reports. 